start here from the mount position. We're gonna work our way through, connect to the single leg. So we're in the mount, we're having a really hard time trying to drop these arms, okay? He could be posting, okay? Or he has a really solid base, okay? It's hard for me to get sturdy. So what I'm going to do is connect my two hands on the belt right here with my elbow of the side I'm going to take him inside of, on the inside of his knee. This is going to help me later to frame his knee and create the space for my right knee to go in between the legs. First, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put my feet really close to me. I'm going to bridge to my right shoulder right here. And when my hips are up, that's when I'm going to start shrimping. Okay, so turn the this with this. So I'm going to be here, bump. My hips are off the ground. That's my time to start shrinking. Okay, I cannot drop my hips and then try to shrink because he's going to put the weight back on me. Sorry, it's not going to work. So I'm going to bump. And when I'm here, once I'm here, okay, I'm going to use the elbow to frame his knee and start shrinking. One, two, extending his leg and creating the space between his leg and my right knee. My hands are going to be stiff here, keeping his hips away. Now I'm going to connect my right knee between the legs and my left leg. Even if he tries to close the distance, okay, once my knee is here, then I can focus also on his rib cage to keep him away and connect my left leg. So my first priority, for my priority is gonna be to connect my right knee inside. Once I'm here, okay, if he tries to close the distance, then it will be then to create even more distance with this leg to then connect my foot on the hip. Once I connect that, I'm gonna focus on this leg. Left hand is gonna go under the ankle, bringing this leg all the way to my neck, and I'm gonna pinch, like if I'm doing a straight up armbar. And I'm gonna cut my partner's knee right here. Okay? Once I'm in this position, I can circle my left leg to create a better extension so I can push him and connect to a technical stand. But in this case, we're gonna connect to a, an omoplata. In the scenario that my opponent starts grabbing my lapel here. It's very common. Okay, buys them some time to make things harder for me to push. Him. So in that situation, when I use my left hand to now, instead of grabbing the knee, I'm gonna grab the sleeve. My right hand has two main two options. You can grab the lapel, or you can connect on the ground. If it's the first time doing this move, I recommend to do it with the hand on the ground. But once you get more experience with it, okay, you can do it with the hand on the lapel. So what I need right now is to push my partner away, put my hand on the ground. Okay, this can help me to keep my body here in place. But once you get used to that position, you, as I said, you can do it also with the hand on the lapel. So you don't need your hand on the ground anymore. And this actually is gonna help you more to connect that one platter. And again, if it's the first time, you can do it with your hand on the ground. Your goal is to shoot your, your foot in space between his elbow, ribs, and leg. So from here, I'm gonna shoot my left leg up, boom, here, and now I'm gonna kick my right leg out, doing a pendulum to the left. Okay, so I can connect straight to the omoplata position. Control the corner to break this posture. And now once I'm here, again, this part can be kind of tricky, because if I just start to go on top, he might move his arm, so this part has to be patient. Right hand holds the wrist, then if I extend my upper body, to free my left hand and drop the bell. Once I have these two, now I can focus on getting out my hand on the ground. Push, scoot my hips back so I can flat his shoulder on the ground. When his shoulder is flat, now I can focus on the far lapel. Keep his upper body straight while I move. So one, two, knees together. And then when I get out, not horizontally, now you to the head, I focus a lot on my knee on his shoulder. You can grab the back of the neck if you feel he helps you to get out. Pressure, roll forward. Catching the demo plan.